Highest Mountain in the World Top 10 Mount Everest As we've already said, and as you already knew, Mount Everest is the world's highest mountain. Its peak is an eye-watering 8,848 meters above sea level, making it well over eight times taller than the highest mountain in Wales. Everest is situated on the border between Nepal and the autonomous region of Tibet. Officially speaking, the first successful Everest climbers were Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay in 1953. It is estimated that there is well over 200 dead bodies on Everest. Everest is part of the Seven Summits. K2 Who remembers the film Vertical Limit? It came out in the year 2000 and starred Chris O'Donnell, Bill Paxton, Robin Tunney, and Scott Glenn. Anyone? Well, anyway. It was set on K2. K2, also known officially as Mount Godwin when Austin or Calgary, has a summit 8,611 meters above sea level. It is located on the border between China and Pakistan. The Chinese side of the mountain is widely considered to be the more difficult and hazardous side, so the summit is usually attempted from the Pakistan side. Behind Annapurna, K2 has the second highest fatality rate of any mountain with a height over 8,000 meters. Approximately speaking, there's one death for every four successful climbs, justifying its nickname as the Savage Mountain. Unlike with the other 8,000 meter peaks, nobody has ever successfully ascended K2 in winter. Kangchenjunga Kangchenjunga is a mountain that's impossible to pronounce after a full crate of beers. It's also, perhaps more importantly than that, the third highest mountain in the world. It sits on the border between Nepal and India, and has an elevation of 8,586 meters. Located approximately 125 kilometers from Everest, Kangchenjunga is the second highest mountain in the Himalayas. Up until 1852, it was assumed to be the world's highest mountain. However after some clever calculating, and presumably some recalculating to make sure, it was announced that Everest was in fact the highest mountain in the world with Kangchenjunga having to settle for third place. There is a tradition when ascending Kangchenjunga to stop just short of the summit. This dates back to the first successful climb of the mountain by Joe Brown and George Brand in 1955. Brown and Brand, who were part of a British expedition, made a promise to regional monarchs know as the Kogil that the mountain's summit would remain pure. Every climber since then has followed the respectful example set by the first ascent. Lhotse Just missing out on a medal, and a spot on the podium, is Lhotse. Lhotse, elevation 8,516 meters, is the fourth highest mountain in the world. It neighbors Mount Everest, and forms part of the Everest Massif. The summit of Lhotse is on the border between the Khumbu region of Nepal and Tibet. It was first climbed to in 1956 when a Swiss team made up of Ernst Rice and Fritz Lutschinger did the business. Interestingly, Lhotse Middle wasn't summited until 2001. The middle was the final 8,000-meter peak to be summited and, despite being lower than the main Lhotse summit, is widely considered to be the most difficult climb over 8,000 meters in the world. This is, in large part, because of the intimidating tower-like shape on its upper reaches. Makalu
with an elevation of 8,485 meters Mukalu is officially the fifth highest mountain in the world. Situated 19 kilometers southeast of Everest, on the border between Nepal and China, Mukalu is notable for its summit's iconic pyramid shape. Mukalu was first summit in 1955 by Lionel Terai and Jean Cousy, who made up part of a French expedition. Because of the mountain's isolated position, which leaves it exposed to the elements, and numerous knife-edge ridges and pant-filling steep sections, Mukalu is viewed by many in the mountaineering community as one of the world's most difficult climbs. The latter stages of the ascent, in particular, involve some extremely technical rock and ice climbing. Choyu One mountain down the height list from Mukalu, but at the opposite end of the difficulty spectrum, is Choyu. While it's anything but a casual walk in the park, its elevation is an intimidating 8,188 meters after all, Choyu is seen by many to be the easiest of the plus 8,000 meters mountains to climb due to its accessibility and generally moderate slopes. Choyu, which means turquoise goddess, stands on the Chinese-Nepalese border. The first ascent was accomplished by Austrians Joseph Jockler and Herbert Tichy, as well Pasang Da Walama from Nepal, in 1954. Dalagiri With an elevation of 8,167 meters, Dalagiri is the seventh highest mountain in the world. It's located in Nepal, and was first summit in 1960 by a combined Swiss-Austrian, Nepalese, effort. In 1808, Dalagiri was marked down in the record books as the world's highest mountain of those yet surveyed. It was registered as the world's highest mountain until Kangchenjunga took the top spot in 1838 after which Everest went officially to number one in 1858. Manaslu Coming in at number eight on the list of the all-time highest mountains is Manaslu. Manaslu can be found in the west-central part of Nepal, and has a summit that's situated 8,163 meters above sea level. The first successful ascent of Manaslu occurred in 1956, when Japanese climber Toshio Imanishi and Nepalese Sherpa Gyalzen Norbu made it to the summit. The mountain, the highest one in the Gorkha district, is a significant part of Japan's mountaineering history. In the same way that some Brits consider Everest to be their mountain, the Imanishi ascent and subsequent climbs by other Japanese adventurers has seen Japan claim Manaslu as their own. Nanga Parbat Nanga Parbat is the ninth highest mountain in the world. Its summit is 8,126 meters above sea level. The mountain is situated in the Gilgit Baltistan region of Pakistan. It resides at the westernmost point of the Himalayas and is also the furthest west of all the world's 8,000-meter peaks. In 1953, Hermann Buell, who was part of a German-slash-Austrian expedition team, became the first man to ascend Nanga Parbat. Nanga Parbat is a notoriously dangerous hill to climb and has been labeled the killer mountain by those who deal in nicknames and the like. Locally speaking, the mountain is known as Deo Mir. Translated literally, this means huge mountain. One of the standout features of Nanga Parbat is the Rupal face, which rises 4,600 meters from bottom to top. The Rupal face, located on the mountain's south side, is often referred to as the highest mountain face in the world. Annapurna 
Rounding off this list of the world's top 10 highest mountains is Annapurna. Technically speaking Annapurna is actually a massif in the Himalayas, comprising of 30 mountains over 6,000 meters. For the purposes of this article though, rest assured that whenever we say Annapurna we're in fact referring to the only mountain in the massif with an elevation above 8,000 meters. Historically speaking Annapurna, and the supporting peaks in the massif, are some of the world's most difficult and dangerous mountains to climb. The fatality to summit ratio on Annapurna, for example, is a truly terrifying 32%. The mountain is located in north-central Nepal, and was first summited in 1950 by a French expedition led by Maurice Herzog and Louis Lachenel.